Today, the snake rack gets an upgrade. Time to fix the heating in it. everybody, it's Adam at Proper Royals. It's project day here down in the snake room. I got my new heat tape has arrived. Something I don't think I've ever shown you is that each of my tubs have had individual heat pads under them. And now I did make those out of heat tape. However, I've got enough in the rack now that it doesn't make sense to have 12 individual heat pads under these uh, 12 individual tubs. So today, uh, each shelf will get its own strip and three of the shelves will be on one thermostat and the bottom three shelves will be on a second thermostat. So I'm gonna clean all of this up over here, which is a mess and uh, consolidate thermostats and tidy this whole thing up a little bit. I'm gonna show you how to do it, how I do it. And I'm gonna show you how I turn this heat tape into heat pads. So we'll do some soldering today as well. It's very, very simple. Don't spend extra money on those climpers and crimpers and all of that kind of thing. So stick around. Thanks for joining me today. Okay, we've got all the snakes out and you can see all the individual pads that are in there. We're gonna clean all of that out. I got the rack completely cleared out. Look at all these various heat pads. It will be far tidier when we're done. So I have my heat tape. Here's how this stuff works, okay? Let me break it down really quick for you. You have your copper pieces here are your conductors. What happens is those are basically your main buses and then your elements are these black stripes that come across. The ticket on consolidating thermostats, or uh, consolidating, yeah, consolidating thermostats, so putting multiple heat pads on one thermostat, is that they all need to pull the same draw, okay? Per linear foot, these take about seven watts, but about and, and nearly don't really cut it. We need to be more exact than that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna count the number of stripes that I need to get this across. Now I know this is nine feet of uh, heat tape and I know that these shelves are three feet wide so pretty easy math. I'm going to get three shelves worth out of this but instead of just measuring with a tape measure I'm actually going to count out the number of stripes because that will tell me the number of elements are exactly the same on the three, uh, three heat pads that I'm going to make and then it's okay to put it on one thermostat and consolidate the thermostats that way. So the draw will be consistent across all of them. So I've cut here. This is the edge I cut on. See, I cut in between the element there, straight down the white plastic, leave the element intact. Next, I want to measure. It's actually a little bit long. That's good. Too short, you can't stretch it out. Too long, we'll cut it down. So what I'm probably going to do is measure this down to 58 uh, heating elements for each strip. So I got a little bit left over and a little bit that I'll sacrifice, and that's cool. All right, so as you can see here, I've got three good levels of one long strip. They're measured, they're all exactly 58 elements, third one here. So now it's time to wire them up. All right, everybody, I'm out here in the shop. So I've got a couple cords. You can buy these at, uh, you know, Home Depot, Lowe's kind of thing. You can get them on Amazon. This is 18 gauge AWG uh, wire, and this is an alternating current plug. They're both the same size, uh, which means it doesn't matter which way you plug it in, and it also means it doesn't matter which way we wire it up here. So each one of these is your contact, and I've got one of the cords here plug at the other end. I've already split it down and I've already got the uh, wires stripped. This is all coated in plastic. Your first step is that you need to melt back the plastic here so that you have a good contact area for your solder to work its magic. All right, I've got the heat tape wired up, 
the electrical part's done. See my connections there, the solder's good. The last part is that you need to insulate the exposed electrical areas, and you have four of those on these, one at each end of the contact. All right, all of my uh, heaters are now wired up, insulated, and I've got them threaded through the back of the rack. Time to install these things. Time to install the probe. Make sure the probe gets put on one of those black heat elements. You don't want the probe on the clear plastic part. You want it where the heat is, okay? All right, we got it all wired up. It's nice and tidy inside here. One long strip per shelf. One nice consolidated thermostat. I freed up the other resources. It's going to make for a better rack with less maintenance. And uh, like I say, now I've got thermostats and heat pads that I can sell, build other racks, whatever I like to do with. Thank you for joining me today. If you want to see more videos on our journey from family hobby to family business, like and subscribe, all that good stuff. Cheers to you wherever you are. I'll see you next time. Thank you.